Bible says, indignant. Amen. The Bible says, and he openly rebuked his disciples for standing in the way of the children. Now, let's face it tonight, beloved. Children sometimes can be noisy in the church. And they require a lot of special attention and special programs. And they cannot even contribute to the financial burden of the church. Come on, y'all. But children are not a curse to be endured. They are a blessing to be enjoyed. Come on, say amen. Look at the screen. Y'all don't believe it? Let me show it. Psalm 127, verse 3. Children are a gift from the Lord. They are a reward from him. And I need 10 people to clap their hands right there and give God praise. I, I, we ought to thank God for our children. Come on, y'all. And I, I need to personally spend more time with them so that I can learn. Y'all not hearing me? And appreciate the gifts that God has sent us. So it's amazing to see this because after he rebuked his disciples for hindering the parents from bringing the children, he then announced amazing things. He first said, watch this, he described what kingdom people will be like. Mm -hmm. So the question becomes, who are kingdom people? Well, they are like children. Oh God, you still missed it. It's critical to get this. You're gonna, it's going to bless you tonight. Because children are better kingdom examples than adults are. You'll get it. And it's funny because we tell the children to behave like adults. But Jesus tells the adults to model themselves like the children. Quiet church here. So what is this thought here tonight? What is in children that God sees as qualities of kingdom people. And we talk a lot about the kingdom. But let's talk about kingdom people tonight. There would not be a kingdom, first of all, if there were not a king. And secondly, the kingdom wouldn't move forward unless the kingdom had people. So we need to know what kingdom people look like. Can I help y'all real good? Kingdom people look like children. You're going to see it in a minute. That's why I get funny when people are trying to just grow up in God. You ought to have a childlike faith. You're going to see it in a minute. In fact, he communicates that we better receive the kingdom like little children. Let me say that again. He says that we better receive the kingdom like a little child. Or we will never Enter in. Oh, God, you're going to see it. It's going to be real good tonight. Kingdom people. Let's look at it. The first characteristic is, number one, a child's dependence. Come on, that's a kingdom person quality. Tell somebody, a child's dependence. Y'all dead tonight. Glory to God. Tell somebody again, a child's dependence. Now, a child, um, it depends uh, not it, but he or she depends on their parents for everything. All right? Uh, when, when a toddler um, gets, gets hurt, they don't think about uh, what doctor they need to call. They just want mom or dad to see. I remember when I was coming up and small and I would scrape my knee on, on the ground. Amen. And I would run to the house. I wasn't thinking about going to the hospital because I was scared of hospitals anyway. But I would run to the house and, and preferably I would try to find my mom because if I would have found my dad, my dad probably would put some water on it and say, get back out there in that street, son, and have some fun. But I would find my mom because my mom had a way of, of making me feel better. Yeah. I ain't got no help yet. Yeah. Mama would come and put some afoul on that thing and it would sting, but she would blow it. <laughs> Hallelujah. Then she would put a band-aid on it, and then as she put a band-aid on it, mama would kiss it and say, baby, it's going to be all right. So when I was in danger, I, I depended on, on, on mama as a little boy for everything. Y'all going to get this in a minute. So then God, he wants us to depend on him. Yeah, yeah. Billy Hardy and the Soul Brothers, I just sing with them, and he had a song, Lord, I'm depending on you. God Almighty, to carry me through. Listen, y'all, that is called faith. Uh-huh. And faith, it 
has an object. Mm -hmm. Have faith in God. In other words, we need to have childlike faith. Just believe in God to do anything. Come on, y'all. At any time and any way. Do I got anybody believe tonight that God can do anything? I mean, you just depend on God. Children have dependence on their parents. If you want to be a, a faith person, a kingdom-minded man or woman of God, you got to release your dependence on yourself and people and learn how to depend on God. Yeah. Amen. You can't roll through life being self-reliant because you educated and because you're a little smart and because you connected and you have resources. I come to tell you, God will allow the bottom to fall out of your education and your resources to the point you have to look up to heaven and say, Lord, if you don't help me, I won't get help. Anybody ever been there? When you lay there on your back, didn't know where to go, couldn't call on nobody, didn't even know how to get a prayer through, but you just said, Jesus, please stop by. And he stopped by and came by and sent the word of encouragement. And you got up from where you were and you still walked on till you got to your destination. That's why you ain't dead yet because God, he spoke to you in the midnight hour and that's why you got to praise and that's why you can lift up your hand right there in the middle of your stressful situation because the daddy, Abba Father, you called on when you was in distress, stopped by and laid his hands on you. Even though when he had to whip you, you ought to be thankful to God because every time he had his hands on you and beat your butt, that lets you know he still got your back that his hand still on you I wish somebody right now tonight would throw your hands up and tell the Lord I'm depending on you to carry me through hallelujah I'm depending on the Lord to carry me through thanks be to God who gives us the victory through Jesus Christ our Lord we need to have such a relationship with our God that when something happens, we go to God first, not as a last result. Don't wait around till you exhaust all your attempts to make things right. Get to God right now. Make haste, good God Almighty, and watch God turn that thing around. Can I submit to you tonight? Sometimes God will put you in a situation that no one can help you but God. Oh my God, you can spin your wheels real fast. You can try to make addition to whatever you got to deal with, but God will shut that door. God will shut that window. God will shut that avenue so you can say, God, I don't got nowhere to go. Come God Almighty, have you ever been there when you was down to your last time? Didn't know how you was going to pay your bill. Didn't know how you was going to make it. And whoop, here come God showed up right there in the middle of time. Couldn't find no friend. Couldn't find no boo. Couldn't find nobody. Prayer partner was lost. Praise partner was called. But somebody spoke a word one day to your spirit called on God. I feel like David. David said, listen, I, I may be messed up and I may be in a pit, but God help me. Pull me out of this pit before I die. Stop glory somebody. Look at your neighbor say, neighbor, God will pull you out if you trust in the Lord and depend on his might. The devil got to back up. Can I get a witness here? Won't he back up off you? I said, won't the devil back up off you? Will you throw your hands up in the air? Say, Lord, right now, in this situation, I'm depending on you with everything I got. Open your mouth and shout glory. Shout glory. Shout glory. Now clap your hands and give God some... Woo. Man, y'all making me work hard tonight. <laughs> hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. I feel like preaching here, y'all. But I came here to teach tonight. <laughs> but I feel like it's Sunday morning. <laughs> Can I give y'all a word right now? <laughs> you better act like every day is Sunday. Because <laughs> when you die, <laughs> and if in fact you go to heaven, <laughs> every day, <laughs> will be Sunday. So all we
we doing right now is having a rehearsal. Can we have a rehearsal right now? So when we get up in heaven, we know what we got to do. What is a rehearsal? A rehearsal is something you practice for the real thing. When I get up in heaven, I'm going to lift up my I'm going to clap my hands. I'm going to run around heaven. Go to Hallelujah Square. See my mama there. Say, Mama, I couldn't wait to get here, y'all. And I'm going to shout. My trouble's over. Throw your hands up and say, Lord, I'm on my way. But right now, come back here, Lord. Come back here, Lord. Come back here, Lord. Shout it, yeah. 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 Yeah. I'm about to go home, yeah. And I can't help myself. Hallelujah. Y'all ready to go home? Y'all want me to finish next week? I say, y'all ready to go home? And y'all want to finish next week? Uh, shake your neighbor by the hand and say, Neighbor, how you coming? Uh, look him in the eye uh, and say, Like a child, uh, I'm coming to God. Hallelujah. I got to get out of here. All right. Shh. That was point number one. All right. Everybody stand. That was point number one. Come like a child is, is you have to have a child's dependence. Come back next Wednesday and I give you number two and number three. Anybody want to get saved tonight? We about to go home. Can you say amen? I, I ain't got no more to give you. I, I'm, I'm saying, I'm, I'm just saying though, I'm done. Ain't no way in the world I will go back behind.